Vegas, what it do, man? You got AD, we're not 8.5 KLUC. We are Las Vegas' number one hit music station. Tonight in the building, Goliath Cruz, Jovi Jove, self-sufficient. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, yes, sir. We've, uh, we've definitely been trying to make this happen for some time now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I got hip to both of y'all at the same time, actually, back uh, the 2 a.m. video with APH, which is that, that, that full circle. Richie yeah. actually shot that. Yeah. Um, that big fact. So that's the first time I saw both of y'all. And then uh, we conversed through uh, through Instagram DM, came in, th- dropped some bars on me, heavy. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And now we're here. Um, you guys just dropped Self-Sufficient. Yes, sir. First of all, I love the title. Um, it's 2018. And... First of all, I think that people have needed to be self-sufficient for years. Um, so if they're not self-sufficient by this time, this project should smack them in the face and let them know, get your game up, get yes, your game man. together. Yeah. Um, I love the message that's put it out, that, that that's being put out um, on the project and the title. Um, everything is done professionally. I love the artwork. I love the pictures you guys putting out. I love I love all the promo that you guys are doing for the, for this project. Yeah, like it, yeah. it's beautiful. You guys are there's um you can tell there's a uh, there's some schematics behind it. There's some meticulous thinking that's going on. Appreciate so um so respect um. Uh, are you guys a duo? I mean, you guys are solo artists as well, <laughs> but are you, I mean, obviously for the project, yeah. you're a duo, but like, yeah. have you guys always worked together like this? Are you guys friends before this? Oh, yeah. Talk to me. Yeah, we, you know, we, we grown, so you don't try to say like best friends, but we like, we, we best friends, brothers, whatever. Yeah, yeah, we brothers at the end of the day. Like, you know, it's bigger, it's definitely deeper than the music. So, okay. The, it, the, the music is easy when you got that bond already. And how long, so how long have you guys been friends? So we, Known each other for years, honestly. Okay. Yeah. At least you know what I mean a good eight years. You know what I mean from d- through through the scene of the uh, Las Vegas. Oh, serious? Like like music scene? Yeah. Or, yeah. Through, oh wow. Through the music scene. So we known each other, but we really started rocking tough maybe like three years ago. Okay. Well, you guys work together very well. I will tell you that. Yeah. Um. Uh. I, I I love Rich. Um. That's what the project is kicked off with. Mm-hmm. Um. I love bands. Um, I love a lot of the records to be honest. Um, what I what I get from the project is a lot of tune. There's a lot of auto tune involved. Mm-hmm. But um, as I, I, I and I'm not trying to put you guys in a box, but I hear like a a Travis Scott vibe. Um, but like with more bars than Travis Scott, if that makes any type of sense. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, the sound and then but but the sound with bars. Um, is that something that you guys were going for? Like you wanted to be heavy on the tune, want to be heavy on the melodies, harmonies. Was that like a goal? I'm not gonna say that was the goal. Okay. You know what I mean? Everything just kind of. Went that way. Okay. You know? Facts. Yeah, 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 like pretty much. You know what I mean? We did a crazy, just massive upgrade with our studio. Right. And it was just a whole new sound. Y'all leveled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what yeah, I did there? Came out of it. Yeah. The record. <laughs> Sorry. Leveled okay. up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what happened, and that's where a lot of the tune came in. You know, we pretty much perfected how to use the tune. Okay. You know what I mean? A lot of uh, other artists. You know what I mean? They really don't know how to use the tune, so. Out of tune sounds crazy. It don't sound right. It don't sound right. Yeah, it sounds out of key. Y'all got yeah. it together. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I like the production on the project too because it's very consistent. Like you don't even like the sound is not like in and out or like way over here over there. Like the sound is like collected. It all it all makes sense. It all flows from song to song to song to song. Um, yeah. So I like that about it. Um, speaking on being self sufficient, did you guys you guys recorded this whole project just y'all two or did y'all? It, did y'all did y'all go to a studio? Nah, Where'd you record the project? Everything at? is in house. Everything's self sufficient. You know, yeah. saying the graph from the graphics to the post production. You know, what I'm saying and only thing out outsourced was the production. You know, what I'm saying, but the beats we went and bought. Okay. You know, what I'm saying to make sure everything is it can be released the right way. Paperwork is all correct, so mm-hmm. the checks could be correct. You know, what I'm saying. Facts. So besides be- the production, and soon we're not going to have to outsource for that. You know, what I'm saying even the visuals, like all the commercials we shot, is for like. One of our close, close homies, and he's just dope at what he do. Like we dope at what we do. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Willie Seven Two Five. Shout out Hugh View TV. He shot our commercials and um, the first video for the album, which was um, on our own. The video came out crazy. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Mm-hmm. Many movies. Yeah. When when do we get that? Is that out? It's oh, out right now. It's on your own. Yeah, it's when did it drop? How did I yeah. miss this? Oh man, I'll be on your page too, we, we so I should be seeing this. Drop like what September twenty eighth? Yeah, September twenty eighth. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm out the loop, but I'm gonna get hip. Facts. Got you. Yeah, the video is crazy. Um, it's wild, bro. I got I, I, I yeah. definitely got to get hip. Um, yeah. so cause you posted on Facebook a, a, a little while ago, like. I, I forgot. I'm paraphrasing here, but it was it was essentially about being self sufficient and like yeah. you should have to rely on nobody. I forget what the status was, but I liked it. Like it was like uh, you were just saying you can do everything yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like, um, was was it the one where I was I was pretty much stating like there's so many tools that you could use as an artist, yes. being an independent artist, that most 
independent artists don't utilize, don't, they don't know about. And it doesn't, what well, doesn't make sense for them not to use them either. Yeah. yeah. But that's yeah. the status. Yeah. It's, 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 they're not doing the research. Right. They're not looking. They're not reading. They just want to put the music out and that's it. Right. You know what I mean? Like they're literally step one to step. 15 that we did yes. yeah literally so so how, so break so now i don't want you to like you know go crazy in depth but like um but break it down from what before you guys when you guys got the plan to put this project together and work together on self-sufficient what was like the like okay we got to do this 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 to get to this all right well it's simple like Cruz went and bought like a vision board and we jotted down everything like we had i think two or three different um, eraser, dry erase boards filled with goals. Right. From one, I think, how many did we get up to, to like 19? And this mm-hmm. was from the beginning of, I'm talking about from buying each beat, right? Making sure that the copyrights are done. Um, DJ meetings, um, single write ups, press releases, like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like stuff that matters. Um, uh, EPKs done, graphics, cover art, um, Facts. making sure that we got PDF files to make sure certain graphics get done certain ways so we can utilize the marketing, you know what I'm saying? Marketing, um, budgets for videos. Um, and it was so commercials. We had so many different things that we jotted down that we needed to get done. And it, the list seemed crazy at first, but it was everything that we knew professionally we needed. And then it's now it's like, okay, we it's, it's in black and white now. We game plan on how to get everything done and paid for. Everything was written down. Yeah. Went from there. Mm-hmm. Now was like, okay, let's figure out the Like, money. we even got posted. Look, look, look. <laughs> the vision board was it, big, huge vision board. Right. <laughs> Completely filled up. It got to the point where we had to get a little small one. Right. Started putting it on there. That got to, to the point where that was filled. Now, our fridge. It, wow. It, it's now our vision It's covered. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. But that's just how much, <laughs> that's just that, that's just making sure you jot it down and speak into existence. Facts. Pack it. Yeah. Every time huge. we get it, like, because we both in the gym all the time, so we always eating. So every time we at where we always at, which is the kitchen, we got nothing but goals to accomplish. And we always, Y'all always utilizing how to cook it. And then we strike off something. And it's funny. And sometimes it'll be a week later and we're like, damn, we done did 15, 16, 21, and 17. Mm-hmm. It didn't even mark them off. You got to go do it. You know what I'm saying? But it's always working. Like right now, you're part of what the post the post promotion is, which is how we're going to keep the wave going. And Facts. people think that we took like a week and a half off just to continue the game plan. We got to right. rest for a second. We, been, we went like four weeks doing DJ meets just to get the DJs to know the single, to know the album before it came out. Then we did a six-week press run. You know what I'm saying? So we got, and then the album's out. Now then with video, commercials yes. is out. yes. Four or five commercials. So now we back at it. So and even when people think that y'all that y'all are taking time off, you're really not taking time oh, nah, off. They're nah, just not nah, seeing. Nah, we're not what's posting going on behind the scenes. No, nah, we're not post. We don't need to post everything. We're posting Facts. content that matters. We're not going to show you like the blueprint because now you're going to be sauce stealing and we, we this recipe house <laughs> house. I love it. Yeah, yeah. By the way, shout out to the Hype World Magazine uh, post. Oh, that was whoa. dope. Oh, yeah, yeah, so high with Kenny. That was a, that was that was a good look. Yeah. Um. So outside of music, I want. I, I think this this kind of like coincides with what you guys do musically. Um. Because it, it's it's hard, it's hard working. Um. Fitness trainer. Yes, sir. Um. And then both both of y'all are swole. So y'all both y'all both be in the gym like you just said. Yes, um. Uh, uh, uh. How would you say that that helps you helps you to move further in the music? How how would you say like being healthy and staying up on your fitness? How does that help you stay positive with the music and grind and hustle that much harder? It just it, it honestly puts you in a different state of mind. Right. It it, it puts you more focused. You literally wanna. You don't want to mess up. Right. You don't. You know what I mean? It's like you're like okay, I ha- I have to have this amount of discipline to be able to do what I'm trying to do. Right. So being able to have that discipline, it it, it transfers to er- everything else because now that discipline went to the music discipline. Right. Music discipline went to, you know what I mean, basketball or, you know what I mean, football, you know what I mean, my son, you know what I mean? It's just, it, the, the, the energy just tra- transpires Every into, in, into everything else. I like that. It's all about discipline. Yeah. Discipline and energy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I can dig that. Um, how do each? How, have you guys always been into fitness? Because both of y'all are into fitness. Um, you're, are you? So you're. What's? I, I'm not here to this. What's an ACE fitness trainer? Talk to me. I don't know all the Ace, terms. Ace fitness. Shout Ace out to the squad, man. Ace fitness, man. It's a, it's a unique facility, man. We're not a gym. We're not CrossFit, man. We're a life changing facility, man. And we change lives every day, man. We we. We, we, we're changing mind, body, and souls one day at a time, man, each client at a time. So with that, it's just I really lock in on really just the fitness aspect 
because of my daughter. You know okay. what I'm saying? When she turned, I had her in 2000, I want to say 14, June 3rd, you feel me? She's four years old. So I had her and I had to change everything I did from how I moved, how I ate, how I slept, how I interacted, my business. Stopped music for a little bit and just locked in on that. And since then, I've just been really, it, it's changed my life because without music, you know what I'm saying? You really can't be in the gym. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, me and Cruz are intertwining the fitness world along with the entertainment world, you know what I'm saying? Along with Ace Fitness and the squad. So we're just about to monopolize this whole thing entertainment wise, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. It's on the way, man. Shout do, out to the squad, Ace Fitness, man. Do you, uh, do you feel you get better workouts being high sometimes? You feel like you get like a. Uh to be you, honest, you work out better high? I'm going to just be real, man. You know what I'm saying? This thing legal, especially on the West Coast. Facts. That's my pre-workout, man. I do. You know yeah. Hey, that's my pre-workout, man. I take me a little something. But you got to smoke the right, you know what I'm saying, the right bud, man. You can't just be out here on that regular or some, you know what I'm saying, some down. You know what I'm saying? You got to get you a little sativa, man. There were, there were times I would hit the gym and I would, uh, I, would, I, would, I, would I would, you know, partake prior to. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't leave the gym for two and a half hours. Yeah, you would. Like, mm -hmm. I, and I, I live more weight than I would when I was like... You would, would, Without it, I'm like, what is happening right now? I don't know, but I'm, I'm nice now. But the thing is, you can't you can't be one of them like social smokers. You know what I'm saying? You can't be like I smoke when I'm around a lot of people and I'm out. Nah, like you gotta you gotta be into that. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying, like some people really smoke because it's part of their daily routine, not because they trying to be, be high and smell like weed. They they, look, they, yeah. they thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah, it's like part it's of a, their therapy, or they really need it to feel better. You pushing know what I'm coffee. Saying? So yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Facts. You know what I'm That's the oh, man. No, I saw a post. Uh, a, a post uh, a couple weeks ago um you had you had a seizure recently yeah um yeah, it was and Cruz actually carried you into to, the hospital into the hospital yeah i was fucked up um well, what what happened with that uh man like i had a like last time i had a bad bad seizure it was like it was a while ago it was years ago and so I you was, actually get them like you've had them nah, before I, yeah i've had them before but this wasn't nothing i had when i was young but i went through foster care and i was like i'm real dope baby you know my mom was like i'm a real age baby my mom was really was a crackhead got you so i don't you know this could just be all stuff surfacing now from you know what i'm saying but i never really had them but i've had some before that were really bad i was in the hospital for like a month you know what i'm saying lost all kind of weight came out looking crazy 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 but i didn't have none for a long time but just I don't know, like, when I was in there, they were just telling me, like, just make sure I'm not stressing, and, like, I be, I'm a workaholic, like, I'm, I'm in the gym all morning, all night, I get out the gym, I'm trying to be a dad, and then be an artist, and and be a songwriter, and post-production for so other much. people, you know what I'm saying, and, because I just feel like I'm a grind right now, because she got to eat, I got to win, we all got to win, and... I sleep later. You Facts. know what I'm saying? And some people really say that, and but I really be about that. People like, say you know and don't live it though, too. Oh, yeah. I be dead tired. Like, and then, then I still gotta get up and do my thing the same, you know what I'm saying? Six in the morning the next it's day. It's not stop. Yeah. But it's worth it. You know right. what I'm saying? I chased that. I just wish that I just that, that I understood what I know now then. I would have never had seizures. You just gotta have I gotta stay hydrated. Balance. I gotta, you know what I'm saying, get accurate, you know what I'm saying, rest, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get my few hours i work out hella then I'm, I'm i'm draining my body and my mind at the same time because not only am i working out I'm, I'm giving my energy to clients and artists and haters and you know right. what I'm <laughs> no, don't, don't give them to the haters no no, no i'm telling them not the energy it's just you right. know what i'm saying you got to like understand like it takes a lot of energy not to give somebody energy because you yeah, could easily yeah. snap yeah 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 I, I do, <laughs> it, I, it right. takes I, a lot of energy to be like Thanks. <laughs> and then you eventually laugh at it but it takes energy for that you know what i'm saying to really block the hater you can't be weak and be like i'm black you know because everything get to you right some people don't have i was reacting skin. on twitter the other day i'm like i, I shouldn't even respond because now now this person just got my energy like and i'm like yeah, I, I, and now you know i'm what thinking what about what they're going to say back to and i'm like yeah. no nah, like shouldn't even shouldn't even respond yeah, in the so first I'm place i'm trying to be a lot more careful with everything a lot of people don't i don't look i don't tell people my struggle and the other, I posted it because it was funny is because Cruz got a pic of me, you know what I'm saying? And then he sent it to me. Right. And I was like, oh, let me, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't really be in my charity bag or none of that. So I just, well, I, I posted it for like the awareness. Like, look, I go through shit too. You right. know what I'm saying? So, and I'm, and I'm still going to get to it. Fuck all that sad shit. Let's get it. You Facts. know what I'm saying? It was more mm -hmm. on that. I didn't want nobody thinking like, oh, this nigga's trying to get like, what the fuck about no likes? No. Nigga, I want pe people have seizures. Right. You know what I'm saying? And some people are Superman through seizures. Some people are really fucked up and they have a seizure and they done or they down. So it's just like the awareness of it. So they see it. somebody that gets through it. Yeah. You feel me? Because I'm a, my daughter got to see Superman every day. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll not, I might not be, I'm, I'm, a, I'm only 5'4". You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm maybe a, 
this little dude to a lot of people, but to her, I'm Superman. That's all that fucking matter. That's you know all that matters. So I got to show her, even if the shit kill me one day, bro, you know what I'm saying? God forbid, but you know, I'm trying to be like 80 with a baddie. Facts. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. But you know what I'm saying? God forbid, she's always going to be like, my pop went hard though. You know what I'm saying? I got to go like my pop. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys, both being parents, do you guys, um, and I, I may be, I'm taking some advice here is what I'm doing. Um, do you guys find that it's, uh, um, is it harder to balance like what you want to do, like passion and art wise? Um, obviously, you have to go get the money in the bag to, to feed the family, but then like doing the music to, um, is, it, or is, it, is it just go get it? Just make it happen. Yeah, you know, Our kids got to do it. Man. Facts. Our kids you know what support I mean? this, man. So it's easy, man. It's right? easy. Facts. It's easy. I dig it. Um, so in front of you guys is this bucket. I'll push it to you guys. Yeah. There's some random, uh, some random names in there, and what we're gonna do? You're gonna pull out. Uh, we'll start with you, Jovi Jove. Pull out two names. You're gonna say them out loud, and then you're gonna say who's the best, who's the better one. Young Bloods. Okay. We went with the duo theme on this one. Okay, dope. <laughs> um, a town stomping. Um, I really. <laughs> uh, who's the other one? Uh, I was Sean Paul. What was that his name? No, no, no. But no, but you, between oh, two oh. pieces of paper, so Young Bloods oh, and, and Young Guns. Oh, you talking about the duos? Who's yeah, better? Oh, yeah. Young Guns for sure. Okay, Cruz on that's you. Just, that's just my opinion. That's just, but you know the Young Bloods got some stuff. But the we, if we talking, man, listen, I just have some bars about the Young Guns being dope. So facts. That's really? just my opinion. Young I'm with guns. it. Uh, I got Outcast or Busta and Split Star. <laughs> who you? Who you? Who you going on that one? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Al. Okay. Yeah, if we're talking I, duo. I mean, you know. Yeah, hey, Busta, um, they, they weren't really a duo, but, yeah. the, but you never saw Busta without Spliff, yeah, I feel right, like. Right, right, right. I, well, I will Busta go Outcast go, too. But if we're talking duos like Spliff, it ain't no Andre or Big Boy. Facts, right, right, facts. Right, right. Keep them running. Keep, <laughs> keep, keep them running. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Right. We, we, got, we got some more in there. Right. Joby Joby's back on you. Oh, okay. Pick two out. Oh, we still go. Oh, we go. Oh, oh we, we going back and forth. <laughs> I don't know how many's in there, but we'll find out. Oh, Eric B, Rain Rock Kim, or Phil Mob. Nigga, Eric B and Rock Kim. <laughs> like the some of the goats. Like, no disrespect to Phil Mob, but <laughs> Phil Mob got some jazzy fade joints, you know? <laughs> Cruz, who we got? We got Mob Deep. Or Styles and Kids. Oh, hey, hold on. Why you getting whoa, all the real whoa. sauce, man? Hold on. What's wrong with my pickings right now, man? Hey, y'all help me pick, man. Ooh, this, this this is a challenge right That there. is but, tough. Hey, now hold on. Me well, personally, well, I'll, well, I'll probably go with the locks. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah. Yeah, 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 same, yeah, yeah, same. I know they're not really a duo, but they are a duo. Right. Um, they basically are. They're the, yeah. be, they're the best duo that's not a duo, I think. Okay, yeah, I like how you put that. All right, so there's only one more in here. Only one more? Yep. Just pick a little. Let's just see who it is. Karis, one, and... Oh, Eric Scholar Rock. Rock. All right, well they yeah, they they win they win anyway. <laughs> they could they could <laughs> only win against like Eric B and Rock Kim, and then I would have that'd have been the like, same I'm class. Not picking that, it's a tie, I guess. Facts. They both did they stuff. Um, oh, that's dope though. I like that. No, I appreciate y'all. Hey, you guys start doing this with current people and start up that bullshit. Like, we 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 we, we uh, we, watched we, your we, interview. We, you said someone was better than me. <laughs> like, fuck you, like. <laughs> we working on it. We working on it for sure. Oh, we start. I do that with Vegas artists too. They gonna be like, "Hey man, hey, I, he said pick." Yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. That, right. that was my excuse. That's gonna be facts. <laughs> now that'll be entertaining. How would you describe the Las Vegas music scene? I like it, man. I think it's pretty good. Like yeah, it. There's a lot, a we, lot of talent out here. Facts. We've mm -hmm. been part like I ain't saying like I'm just popping or like you know I had even like my little years and where I wasn't doing it for a second because I was like I said focused on being a trainer, but. We always been relevant, but I like it. I don't. I never not like the Vegas music scene. You know right. what I'm saying? It was. It's always been like, dang, they sleeping on the city, bro. Like that's crazy. Why they sleeping on the city? And it's it's, it's popping right now though, because it's a lot of artists stealing shit from out here, like literally stealing shit. So facts. Mm -hmm. That wave is coming. You know what I'm saying? I just shout out to everybody doing their thing, man. I just hope everybody ready for that wave, so you can be part of it and get your bag while yeah. it's out here. And then progress and invest into other stuff, man. Because this music shit ain't just everything. It's a, a small part, small part of this entertainment bag that you can get. But facts, just be ready for it, man. The scene looking good. I, I love it that there's not there's not like a Vegas sound. Like everybody has like yeah. their own sound. I feel like it's a melting yeah. pot. It's a little yeah. sauce from everywhere, so it's, it's, it can't be. A, but it, it, it's starting to be a Vegas. Like there is a Vegas sound though. Like that. That's the thing. It ain't like a. It's not a bad thing though. Right. It's, it's not, it's like, because there's so many people that's out here. And even once you be, move out here, you start to still have like a Vegas swag about you. It is yeah. what it is. You I know could do that. So mm -hmm. there's a Vegas sound. It's just, I don't know, the world isn't hip to it yet. But when they get to it, because it's, it's unique, because it's so much, you got to realize if you have a certain type of gumbo, but it's only this place makes all this type of seasoning. Right. We're the only city with all these people from everywhere that have 
came here and cultivated and made a type of culture out here. So facts. it has a sound, but when it pops, it's going to be like, damn, Vegas is going to be on top for like 10 years. Facts. Right, it's right, it's right, going to right. longevity. Be on, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, do, each of, do, do each of you have a favorite song off of, uh, off of Self Sufficient? If you had to pick one, what would it be? Cruz, what you going with? See, first I was picking Rich. Okay. I'm mad at that. At, at, after the video dropped, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the honor on. Okay, yeah. That video really made me like, damn. Okay, this is crazy. This is that joint yeah, track, yeah. Okay, Jovi Jove. And you no, know, it's funny. The whole time, though, I was already saying like I like on our own the best. Like just cause, like I like the whole album. Which it's our album. You know what I'm saying? I love the album. It's just so like the the outro meant so much to me because. My verse was like meaningful, like my most meaningful verse. It came from the heart and the hook just says so much, you know, and that's his hook. Like I came in and we needed, a, we were working on like a few things for outros. We was like, we don't just do an outro. We worked on a few outros, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Find the right one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he just cooked that one. And it, the hook and the beat was so crazy. I was like. That shit meshes. Like. I felt something though, like I felt the chill. Like I, we listened to the for like two weeks, just listened to the hook and the beat. Like Damn. it was so like, cause it, it like to some people they listen to it, like the shit ain't that tight, man. But for everything that for our process, it meant everything. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what, what we, we were doing. doing, right? What I like about it is that it's a perfect outro record. Um, it's a perfect outro record on its own, but it's also it's the perfect outro record for the project as a whole too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On our own, self sufficient. The theme of the project, the theme of the song, um, and it just it's a great song to go out on. So I like I, I like that. Is what's what's the one that we're pushing though? What's the, like the single? Oh, moon, man. moon moonlight. Moonlight. Now. Moonlight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, bands is gonna be coming soon. I like bands. I like um, bands. To be honest, I shouldn't even be saying nothing, but. <laughs> Supreme is probably gonna be. Maybe I'm at a the Supreme next either. Video. Are you gonna be decked out Supreme in the video? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one's gonna be crazy. <laughs> no, no, don't even listen, man. Come to the mic, Joe. Listen. When y'all see what we do with the Supreme video, understand that we worked hard for these connects and top tier Let acknowledgement and recognition. Just give us the credit, man, because you niggas gonna see what we shoot and be like, how the hell did they get that? And it's just them in there. So they got they got the location for sure. Okay. So just and we, I'm ready to see. We planning even when <laughs> you think we, when we not posting and sharing what we've been doing, we plan it and it's always some plan. It's still so, working. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. Before we get about it here, uh, what would, would you guys like to leave the city with anything? Any words? Any? Listen. Well, hey, first off, you know what I mean. I got a shout out. You know what I mean. This brand and hey. I believe it's called. You know what I mean. This is actually That's a brand from France. Okay. And they, and they locked they, in they, with us. y'all, Cruz got money. Threw us, they threw us. No, they actually gave us a oh, few shit. pieces of merchandise. Okay. So, I mean, in. I'm rocking a hat, you know what I mean? Supporting the, uh, the movement that they got, yeah. Facts. Um, and as far as, you know what I mean, the city, man, keep grinding, keep doing what y you guys are doing. Um, no need to hate on anybody. Uh -uh. We all trying to get it. Facts. Very positive. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Trophy Joe, you got any words? I want to shout out my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Um... Shout out JJ, shout out my nieces, you know, Deja and Callie, you know, them young, the young youth really keep me hungry. It keeps me motivated to stay in shape so I can run around with them. Facts. Uh, and just shout the city out, man. The city's looking good. Everybody is on their stuff. The people that's not on their stuff, it is what it is. That's tripping. nothing that we can do about that. But shout out to all the go-getters, man, and everybody stay blessed and stay and remain self-sufficient. At all times. You family. dig and go get that self sufficient. Yes, man. It's out now. You know what I'm saying? We haven't shouted that out because we know it's out. And for the people who don't know, self sufficient is out on all platforms. If you if you type it into it's something else, pop name, up. It's a lifestyle. Uh. Yeah. Make sure you type in that Jovi Jove Goliath Cruise, man. Follow us. I'm at five foot four Jovi Jove at five F T four Jovi Jove at Goliath Cruise all together. No hyphenins, no Goliath spaces, Cruz nothing. I didn't even have to ask. Y'all hit it. <laughs> yeah. Jovi Jove, Goliath Cruise, self sufficient. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. It's 98.5 KLUC. You dig? You dig.